Good morning, everybody. So last week, we learned how to draw an ant. We learned how to draw a ladybug. And we learned how to draw a butterfly. This week, we're not going to be drawing anything. This week, we are going to be creating our very own insects using things that are laying around our house. And today, we're going to be making a caterpillar. It doesn't have to look like this. This is just an example because I love this book. So what you're going to need today, it could be anything lying around that's long, like pig towel roll <laughs> or my favorite, which is what I'm going to use is this. This is an egg carton that I cut up. I'm going to just be cutting a strip of it because we're making just one caterpillar. But if you don't have any of that, paper towel roll will do. So, what does our insect need? Colors. So you can have markers, you can have crayons. I think the markers on this one might do better, but whatever you have, go ahead and use it. I also have three different kinds of tape because I do not have glue, but if you have tape, any kind of tape will work are handy dandy scissors and kids if you need help have mommy and daddy help you with these okay also you're going to need legs i have toothpicks and i have q-tips whatever one is easier i'm not exactly sure just yet because i've never made one of these and if it wants to, to work i'm not exactly sure but i bought googly eyeballs too if you don't have googly eyeballs, a regular piece of paper will work. If you draw a circle and a little dot in the center, you can make it look just like that. So again, we are making an insect and I am super excited to go ahead and start. While you guys are getting all your supplies ready, I'm going to show you guys some examples of what I'm talking about. It may sound a little crazy, so here's some pictures. All right, so I have my handy dandy egg carton ready and I have my scissors. Now this part, mommy and daddy might have to do because it's kind of hard. This is not easy to cut. As you can see, I messed up. <laughs> so I'm gonna fast forward this while I'm cutting. And yeah, this is gonna take a minute. <laughs> All right, I have my egg carton ready, and I have my markers ready, and I am ready to color. Now, the thing with egg cartons is they're not flat, so this might be a little difficult for you guys to color, but go ahead and choose any color you like and have fun. I have been loving rainbows lately, so I think I'm gonna do a rainbow pattern on mine. Button in the hole, I'm ready, let's begin. So if you need help doing this, mommy and daddy are more than welcome to hold it for you while you color. But parents, please try to let your kids do this all on their very own. Yeah, this is very hard, <laughs> but it's super cool. I am going to keep coloring. And if there's something like this that you'd want off, you're more than welcome to cut it off. All right. And you know what? Crayon might be easier to do this. So if marker's hard, go ahead and try a crayon. All right, so I have my first one done. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do yellow. This is definitely one of the silliest things I've ever colored, but it's a lot of fun.
And remember, try your best to hold your marker with your nice little tripod grip. Although it's kind of hard. <laughs> It's okay if it gets on your hand, you can just wash it when you're done. Oh, this is gonna be super cute. All right, I'm gonna do, hmm, do some green. So what colors are you guys doing? I have red, I have yellow, and I have green. What colors are you guys doing? I cannot wait to see. We have caterpillars with so many different colors. I have seen red caterpillars, I have seen yellow and black caterpillars. They're super, super pretty. All right, I'm gonna do a blue. You guys can also create a pattern. You can do red, yellow, red, yellow, red. You could do two different colors. You could do red, yellow, red, yellow. Wait, that's the same thing. <laughs> red, red, yellow, red, red. There we go. That's easier. <laughs> All right. I am almost done. Now take your time. You don't have to rush this. You can take all day if you like. It's totally up to you if you need to take a break from coloring, because this is a lot of coloring. You can join me later and finish it. That's more than okay. All right, see, it's okay to get a little messy. And my last color, hmm. Red, yellow, green, blue. I'm gonna try purple. Purple might look really pretty. Oh, and it does. This is not easy. <laughs> oh, but this is so fun. All right. And I'm on my last part of the caterpillar. So now when you're done, you should have something that looks pretty close to this. If you want to trim off the ends like here, you're more than you're more than welcome to. I tried so I'll probably go back later and trim off the rest. But for now, this is super cute. All right, so what are we missing? Hmm, I know I have a face, but what can I use? You know, it might be hard for me to do the eyeballs, but I can totally try. Let's see. And if this doesn't work, you can get a black marker and you can color eyeballs on too. So for now, I'm going to just see what I have. Again, if you don't have googly eyes, you can make your own or you can just draw them. And I got two different eyes because I like mine to look silly. I'm gonna use a little bit of tape. Let's see how that looks. This is where it comes in handy if your mommy and daddy are really good at rolling some tape, because this is not easy. Since this is really big, I'm going to cut this in half. 
now I have two. I think I want the eyeballs on this side. So I'm gonna place one here. Place the other piece of tape here. Then I'm going to, oops, grab the eyeball and stick it on. If you have glue, this will probably work way easier. <laughs> So there we go. Let me hold it down for a second. And look at my eyeballs. Ooh, they're silly. All right, now what's missing? I think it's missing some antenna. So if you're like me or Mrs. Hamilton, we are coffee drinkers and we love our coffee. So this is called a coffee straw. You can use any kind of straw you like but I'm just gonna use this one. And with my scissors, very carefully, I'm gonna put my thumb on the top and my fingers on the bottom. And I'm gonna cut one, <laughs> I'm gonna cut one more, two. All right. So these are going to be the antenna. Now you might need a little help poking those through. And if I knew where my thing was, I have a little screwdriver. If you don't have a screwdriver or something small, you can use a pencil or you can use a pen. I'm gonna try it with the pencil first. I'm gonna poke a hole there. Let mommy and daddy do this because this I don't want you guys to hurt your fingers. And poke a hole there. Now you get your antenna and you stick them inside the holes just like that. Again, you can use anything you have. But there's my antenna. So what next? What is missing? Caterpillars have feet. Now this might be the hard part. So I'm gonna use oh, some Q-tips. I might cut them in half. We'll see how this works. I'm gonna start off with four Q-tips. And again, we're gonna cut these ones in half. Yeah. One gotta be careful because I do like to fly around everywhere. Two. Three. <laughs> and four. I know I chose q-tips because if you look really closely they kind of look like little socks so I thought that was super cute. Now I'm debating if I poke them through or tape them. So if I'm gonna tape them, I'm gonna take the antenna out first and flip it upside down. This might be way easier. I'm gonna grab my tape. Again, you can use any kind of tape. I'm just gonna do a little piece. We're gonna see, where am I at? There's the head, so I'm gonna put a leg here on the inside, you can see, just like that, and I'm gonna tape it straight on the inside, just like that. I wanna make sure it's nice and tight in there. That way, he has a little leg. So, mommy and daddy are more than welcome to help. This might be a little bit harder for them to do. So again, tape it on the inside. Glue again also works, but unfortunately not everybody has glue. So tape is also really nice. Let's do some more. Gonna tape it on the inside.
Now, luckily for me, I have colorful Q-tips, and that's okay if you don't. I just got mine from the dollar store. But cool thing about these is that I'll show you in just a second, is that you can color them and give them colorful little feet. Oh, well, I guess I'm using different tape. <laughs> I was not paying attention. All right. I'm gonna go back to this because I actually liked this tape better. Now, a lot of the things I have over here, I, I got from the dollar store. So you can find these at most stores. Any kind of tape, any kind of Q-tips. And then one last piece for the back. <laughs> and there you have the legs. So when you flip it over, he's got little legs. Isn't that cute? Cool. So now, if you want, you can put these right back inside. Just like that. Now, if you really, really want to, you could be done. And there is your caterpillar. Or if you're feeling up to it, hmm, which I think I might be, I'm gonna give him little sh shoes. So I'm gonna get my marker and where the cotton is on the Q-tip, I'm just gonna color it just like that. I just wanted to see if this works. It's not that easy, so that might not work, but if you want to, go ahead and color each one. Be very careful not to push too hard. That way the shoe doesn't fall off. And go upside down. <laughs> this is cute. All right. Now if it falls off, just push the tape back in. You should be okay. Just like that. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Mine got a little fuzzy on it, that's okay. All right, and voila, he's got little red shoes. <laughs> now I have the eyes, I have the antenna, I have the feet. And I think since this is such a cute little caterpillar, I'm going to give him a big smile. Big, Let's see if you guys can see it, that's kind of hard. Big smile, like that, and like that. All right, I'll show you when I'm done. Oopsie. And there you go. You guys just made your very own caterpillar. Super cute. Good job, guys. I can't wait to see all of them. When you're done with this, you're going to go check back in with Miss Hamilton, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for our next insect art activity.